in the course of three minutes, I heard Clinton, Senator Clinton say two different things. And uh, when you get a yes or no question, you can't answer yes and no. Hillary Clinton was for it. She was against it. And she wasn't sure if she was for it or against it. <laughs> in the space of, of one answer. And I just want to make sure what I heard. Do you, the New York Senator, Hillary Clinton, support the New York governor's plan to give illegal immigrants a driver's license? You told the National Hampshire paper it made a lot of sense. It, Do you support his plan? You know, Tim, this is where everybody plays gotcha. It makes a lot of sense. The idea that we're going to extend this privilege here of a driver's license I think is troublesome. And I think the American people are reacting to it. We need to deal with security on our borders. We need to deal with the attraction that draws people here. We need to deal fairly with those who are here. But this is a privilege. A license is a privilege, and that ought not to be extended in my view. Well, Senator, let's I just want to add, I did not say that it should be done, but I certainly recognize why Governor Spitzer is trying to do it. No, and minute, we have wait failed. Wait a minute. We have it, failed. No, no, no. You said, you said yes. No. You thought it made sense to do it. No, I didn't, Chris. This was the first time that I think the kind of aura of inevitability was dented. Uh, I don't think her opponents have ever been able to really shine a spotlight on her weaknesses yet. And they did. And they did it with a number of questions where she, um, as Rudy Giuliani said, she was talking about the illegal immigrants getting driver's license, where she seemed to be on both sides of the issue all at once. Um, she had a hard time saying yes or no. And um, I think it kind of resurrected the old stereotype of Hillary as being secretive when she talked about the National Archives, um, less than than. Yes, than so the Camden. question about the archives is what now? Whether or not she would encourage her husband to lift the ban that he's placed on releasing correspondence between the two of them that are in the or White or other, House records. Or other materials that reveal that what reveal, advice she yes, gave him, what which she's she citing as her experience, yes, isn't she? Yes, yes. She's she saying, I, I'm, ex yeah. I'm qualified by reason of my first ladyship. To say that it's not, it's, she, it's beyond her control was just not completely accurate, as many commentators have pointed out, because it's up to the president. It, the, the National Archives has already cleared a president lot of this. Clinton. up to President Clinton if he wants these things to be released. Roger, it seems to me that she uses this phrase, uh, undocumented workers rather than illegal immigrants. It's obviously pandering. It doesn't tell you anything. It's undocumented worker can mean anything. She doesn't use the actual language of reality. These people are in the country illegally. And then she seeks to solve the problem by giving them documents Is that as if that's their only problem. They're in the country illegally. She wants to give them driver's licenses. By the way, she finally went full circle again today and said, yes, give them driver's licenses. The problem is that Governor Spitzer wanted to give them real ID cards to get on airplanes, to go to government buildings, to pretend they were in this country legally. Spitzer wanted to go all the way with this fraudulence, and it was Churchoff at Homeland Security that stopped him. It looks to me like Hillary's totally with Spitzer here. She was at her most incomprehensible uh, over this issue. Uh, and not only can you not understand exactly what she's saying, but in, in one fell swoop, she not only grasped this third rail issue, uh, driver's licenses for uh, illegal aliens, which to a large extent uh, cost Gray Davis in California his job. Exactly. He was recalled over this, and Arnold Schwarzenegger was elected because he promised to uh, repeal the law granting uh, driver's license to illegal aliens. She not only does that and grasps this, but then she raises the whole issue of integrity, whether you can trust what she says, whether she reverses herself within a two-minute period. Uh, it, it was her worst moment, not only of the evening, uh. but her worst moment of the campaign. Let's take a look, uh, Ann Cornblit. By the way, before we get any further, just think about all the illegal driver's licenses. How many driver's licenses the guys who killed us on 9-11 were carrying at the time? Tons of them. Here's Edwards and Obama attacking Hillary for her non-answer on driver's licenses for illegal immigrants. Let's take a listen. Unless I missed something, Senator Clinton said two different things in the course of about two minutes, uh, just a few minutes ago. And I think this is a real issue for the country. I mean, America is looking for a president who will say the same thing, who will be consistent, who will be straight with them. Because what we've had for seven years is double talk from Bush and from Cheney, and I think America deserves, deserves us to be straight. Senator Obama, why are you nodding your head? Well, I, I was confused on Senator Clinton's answer. I, I, I can't tell whether she was for it or against it. Uh, and I do think that is important. Uh, you know, one of the things that we have to do uh, in this country is to be honest about the challenges that we face. You know, the job which we should have done, which should have been our primary focus to find, you know, Bin Laden. Mr. Bin Laden used to live in Sudan. He was expelled from Saudi Arabia in 91 and he went to Sudan. And we did a that he released him at the time, 96. He had committed 
committed no crime against America, so I did not bring him here because we had no basis on which to hold him. So we, we knew he wanted to commit crimes against America. So I did not bring him here, so we, we knew he wanted to commit crimes against America. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright said, well, if we bomb uh, Afghanistan now, it's not a good time to bomb Muslims. It'll, it'll essentially blow up uh, the Middle East peace process and, and doom any chances President Clinton has of, of, of winning the Nobel Prize for Peace. I was delighted when Jimmy Carter won the Nobel Peace Prize because I thought he earned it, and I thought it was great because he got it as much for what he did after office as when he was in office. Bill Clinton is still campaigning for the Nobel Peace Prize. I remember exactly what happened. These things he said to me on the phone, we got a second plane that hit the tower. And I said, Bin Laden did this. That's the first thing I said. He said, how can you be sure? I said, because only Bin Laden and the Iranians could set up a network to do this. And they wouldn't do it because they have a country and targets. Bin Laden did Did you also think at the same time we came pretty close to getting them? Yeah. I thought that my virtual assessor was more face than I was full of regret that I ever did. I mean, I immediately thought that he did it. <laughs> I always ask the same question for eight years. Can we kill him tomorrow? Bin Laden is alive today because uh, Mr. Clinton, Mr. Sandy Berger, and Mr. Richard Clark refused to kill him. That's the bottom line.